having a 7 nil victory over a team, but let's not read in too much about that, huh? Yes, um, Josh, it was very impressive. Um, they won 7 nothing. you know, by far the most goals they've scored in any given game this year. Um, going into today, they had not scored more than two goals in any game, but um, it was nice to see the offense get going today. And albeit against a team that lost its 11th game in a row, but uh, 11 even players so, on the team too. They only travel with 11 players. That's Talk true. about no that's bench. True, but um, <laughs> they they needed a win and they needed some good feeling and hopefully they got that today. And really, they were sparked by a freshman scoring her first three, three career goals. And a hat trick nonetheless. Too. Ryan that's, Hall, that is. She good. scored three first half goals. The natural hat trick, if you will, <laughs> and um, she sparked. At least it wasn't a Gordy Howe hat trick. We yeah, don't see any fights on the soccer field. <laughs> she um, sparked them to a 3-0 halftime lead, and then actually Angiola Vieri, a veteran, is nice to see her, um, you know, get on the scoreboard. Who has had a, she's put up a lot of numbers in her career. W what do you think about this team right now, Kevin? I, I mean, I think they're in a little bit of limbo. I, again, they get a big win yesterday, 7-0 against a Mountain yeah. State team. But you know, uh, if that was an AMC team, I. I Mountain State wouldn't even be able to compete in the AMC, maybe against the Carlos of the world, but who knows? But how, what do you think about this squad? Um, well, I would say that they're in these games, even in their seven-game losing streak. They were in those games. You know, they, they had not given up more than three goals in any game. You know, how many times can you lose two to one? And those, that's just really frustrating. You know, it's the nature of the game that, you know, if you have one breakdown, you can end up losing two to one. And once that those momentum, the momentum of those losses go, it's hard to stop that. And, and you know, one, one of those people that really been the big, big factor of keeping them in the game is Liz Glez. She's right. been playing absolutely ridiculous. 72 saves on the, le on the year. That leads the AMC Conference. Let's talk about Liz a little bit. Just what a pickup for Coach Walster. Right. She um, sat behind Emily Tomaluski last year, who was a, a, a veteran presence. Yes. And really what you're seeing out of Liz this year, I think, is um, you can really hear it if, if you're on the sideline. She's a vocal leader, and um, she does a good job of setting up the troops in front of her. And uh, the defense does a, a good job overall. Uh, most of these AMC games, their back is against the wall most of the time with um, the ball in their end for the majority. Yeah. Well, I have one of the big problems that I think I've seen at least, that ball possession has been one of the big key factors really that's putting a lot of pressure on that back from the midfielders back to the goalie position that has made them the games really what they were one thing i would mention um with that is in trying to get the ball up to the forward level is that i think they're really missing malia muckle who um you know she injured her knee after about three games mm -hmm. and actually one of the few starters that they lost from last year molly refner was great in the midfield that, but, that is very good yeah. call on that one too she was a great player last year unfortunately not with the team this year but let's talk about this AMC schedule right now. How do you see these teams in the AMC comparing with Point Park? Um, well, like I said, they're in a lot of these games. You know, you like to see them maybe um, pull out a win against the Carlos, and, you know, they still have the, you know, um, Ursuline um, on the schedule, Malone. Um, but, you know, overall, they're not out of these games. They're not just being, you know, demolished, and, they, so to speak. They got Ursuline on Thursday as well as Cedarville on Saturday. Both